F1 on the ground. Now, basically what just happened is all the fireworks that you're seeing get popped, those are our neighbors. Um, now, you can't really see the like the people that were outside, but it was a whole lot of people outside. Um, the, my street was full, filled with people. And this is not in a country area. This is um, public street. You know, we were in public street in city, in city limits. And um, I didn't pop my fireworks in city limits. I took mine outside of uh, city limits to pop mine's. But um, it's because I knew last year how they lit the street up. And these are drug dealers and everything. I'm talking. They lit they lit our street up last year. So um, this year, I was like, you know, I'm not going to pop them here because they're going to light the street up. As soon as we go light one, police are going to pull up. And, you know, um, <laughs> that's going to be a wrap. They're just going to end our 4th of July. Well, um, Well, this year we figured, hey, I'm sure that you know like 40 50 drug dealers coming on our street gonna pop fireworks i'm sure they're gonna have way more than we're gonna have so let's just watch them and then we'll go and um pop ours after afterward and uh <laughs> and like i said the police wind up showing up but it was so many people here the police had nothing to do all they could do is just show up look at the people and just pull off and that's exactly what he did he did nothing at all because uh it was so many people he he couldn't stop anybody but uh here it is i, I gotta record this shit here <laughs> like I said, it ain't it ain't damn i wish you can't even do that all you can do is ride through there looking at the car because everybody gone you know what i'm saying Look at that shit. Everybody gone. Why the fuck would he go out in the... Dude went in the middle of the freaking street picking the shit up. Is he... That's how you... That's how you know motherfuckers dumb in the hood. This motherfucker go and pick this shit up in front of the police. Like, where they do that shit at? Okay, so at this point, the police officer drives off, <clears throat> and <laughs> he didn't do anything. He didn't take any fireworks or uh, anything. It's, like I say, there had to be at least 100 people at this house. It had to be at least 100 people at this house. There was a bounce house outside for the little kids, and um, I'm talking, there had to be at least 100 people. So the police officer just gets out the car, walks up, starts talking to people, walks, gets back in his car, empty handed, drives off. Immediately after he drives off, you see people right back in the street lighting him up. And, you know, they go ham with it after this. So uh, I guess they figure the police can't touch him, so they start this show. <laughs>
fighting oh. another one. Nah. -uh. Oh, that's an artillery shell. Watch how they put it. Probably coming to get that bounce house. <laughs> you know they have to come and mess everything up. Yeah. Say what? Right there in his face, he took out running. Okay, so in this last clip, you heard my mom say something about um, a guy with a box. Basically, this guy has this huge box that just is it's like a hundred shots or something. I don't know. It's like a hundred shots. And uh, he's gonna bust that one. And you're gonna see uh, like the the street just go crazy. And then there was this truck pull up. The truck was basically to come get the bounce house. But when the truck pulled up, he could only go forward. But there was so many fireworks in the street going on, he couldn't even continue to go straight. So he had to just park in the middle of the street and wait until they ran out of fireworks. Um, but this is this is how it went. <laughs> Unfortunately, my girlfriend missed the majority of the fireworks. She kind of picked the camera up after they started firing. I thought she was filming, but she wasn't. And um, then we leave and go to the country where it's actually legal to pop the fireworks that we had. And um, we couldn't find any good spots. Everywhere we went, the police And he just said, gotta hey, drive down and hey, mess it up. You can't pop here, you can't pop there, you can't pop here, you can't pop there. So eventually we got to the spot where we just found this secluded area. Uh, we were busting fireworks, and some old lady comes out with her flashlight. She's like, hey, I'm trying to get some sleep. <sighs> and um, so we leave that area. Then we go somewhere else, and there's some big houses and things out in the country. And uh, some guys comes out and flash their lights when we start popping by their house. So then we actually leave, and we go to this one spot where um, it's kind of like, it looks almost like a roadway where we could just pop. And, and nobody would come it seemed like it was so many back streets we took no we we felt like nobody would come to, to um stop us from popping this time so we started popping our fireworks and um we got down to our last um artillery shell and those of you who don't know what artillery shells are those are the ones that every time when they would shoot one in the air it would make the car alarms go off they shoot really hard they bust really hard they those are the ones that make the big the big burst at the end like when they when they shoot in the air really high then they burst open really wide well what happens is i put one of the artillery shells on the street without putting it in the tube and it was the very last one and i said okay i'm going out with a bang and i lit this artillery shell and no lie it blew up when it blew up it caught a tree on fire it caught some grass on fire it caught the yard across the street on fire it was so much fire going around um the flames are small and and i was going to go put it out and i hear my girlfriend my sister my mom and uh all my brothers and sisters they're all over there panicking i'm running to go put the fires out and then next thing you know my, my uh, girlfriend's like come on mike let's go let's go come on let's go so uh i kind of run away from the uh from the fires and i get in my car my mom's already burned off she burned off before before i could even um get to the fire to go step on it she had already peeled off so then I go and get in my car and then we leave and then I get I get this bad conscience like man what if the people that was in those houses were sleeping they you know they burned it dead so we my girlfriend gets this smart idea at the end after we've already pulled out she's like hey we got all these bottles of water that we got we can go put the fire out so then we head back to go put the fire out but by this time when we get back the fire's huge I'm talking <laughs> the fire is so big it's like the size of almost uh it's almost like a bedroom size like a small bedroom size so um 
we're just nervous. We're like, oh, God. And the people's trailer is literally less than 50 feet away from where we lit these fireworks and where the flames was. And uh, we, we, we had this thought in our heads like, hey, you know, we could go to jail. Like, we would really go to jail if we, you know, we get caught. So we burned off. We did we did some crazy stuff. We left. My mom was like, yeah, just keep going. Just keep going. She's talking to us. She's like, keep going. Don't worry about it. So then when my mom finally, get, uh, fi- when we finally get kind of clear a little bit, my girlfriend calls 911 and uh, they come and put the fire out or whatever. And then we didn't know that they had put it out or not, though, because we were already gone. So me and my girlfriend, we come back to the scene later on to see if everything went all right and see if people burned up. Because she said she wasn't going to be able to sleep through it if the people were dead in the uh, <laughs> in the trailers and the houses around that area. But um, I want to thank you guys for watching. <laughs> And uh, that was a real crazy story for me, at least. And uh, I want to thank you guys for watching. And also, um, this is probably going to be one of my last few uploads. I'm going to have this upload and then a few more, maybe one more video after this one or maybe two. But um, if this is my last video, I want to tell you guys, I want I thank you guys and appreciate you all for watching my channel. Um, I'm about to start a new job. I'm going to be traveling so um i won't be here to make as many videos as i were i could i can try to upload videos whenever i come back um it will probably be maybe once once or three times a month or maybe if i'm on the road if i can get a laptop or something and keep a gaming system with me or you know if i could play a lot of games and then record all of them and then get enough gameplay to actually upload and commentate while i'm over the road then i'll be able to do that for you guys but um i want to thank you guys for watching and peace